be slipping in at the store. Part of me, I'm about to shit on this beat. Part of me, I just went crazy on the free. Part of me, I could have bone up a tea. Part of me, I bought Chanel for 10 G. Just for the pills of my syrup on my weed. You pull out that lamb, I got somewhere to be. I'm on that, she like, in front of the back and go deep and go. I'm on that, she on that, we on that, they on that. Cracker dog spilling all over the bird. Bought all the bird, could have went about a verb. Sipping on circle, got my coat turning perp. Part of me, I got my side bitch on flea. Swapped out the AP and bought the felie. Hey you guys, it's Nessa or Nessa Ellison and welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I told you guys to stop sleeping on the Amazon links but nobody would hear me so I came back to put you guys in check. The glueless unit from Gita Hair and let's just get into it. OMG, you guys haven't heard a voice over in a while for a wig video. This is the inner construction of the wig. Again, this hair is sent by Gita Hair, an Amazon brand. Um, this is a balayage. It was 24 inches. I did end up cutting it, but not in this video. What makes the wig glueless is this band right here. And so I'm sewing it down just because I feel like it makes things more secure for me. And I want to have security in my wig, knowing that it won't slide off, it won't fly off, and it just will stay on my head where it should be. so starting off i'm putting this on my head the reason it's tangled is because i just washed it and plucked it easily brushed out no biggie i did end up toning this wig and so it turned out a little purple gray you guys can definitely tell i can definitely tell and then i blow dried it i didn't show you this process because my blow dryer is like the most messed up thing right now again this video is sponsored by gita hair it's an amazon wig company and you guys can definitely check them out they sent me this bomb unit and i wanted to see how well it took heat so i tried my BC Way hair straightener. And it takes heat very well. Very well. But I didn't want to straighten my hair, so we found a way to make some beach waves. Right 
the little effort that you put in was enough, girl. How about now? Yeah. Girl, how about now? How about now, girl? What about now, girl? How about now? So I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other side and I'll get right back to you guys. Now I'm going in with my, it's basically foundation, but this is a concealer and I'm going in to make sure that hairline is matching my skin. And I am using this foundation that I recently bought. Literally, I love how well it matches my skin. I've always struggled with that part. And that's why my leaves was always ashy. Y'all, y'all, we could be real with one another. That is the reason that my lace was ashy or it was too light, too dark. I was in the La La Land. So I'm just making sure all around the hairline is covered. And then I'm going to clean my forehead. I cleaned it with some toner. Um, don't be like me and do this toilet paper thing. I recommend paper towel the best is a towel like a face towel then you're gonna go in with some gots to be the only reason I put gots to be is just so like when I put some more it tacks up a lot more than if there was nothing underneath and then I'm gonna show you guys why I had that stocking cap in my hand but first we're gonna spray it and I spray it in like little gist like I don't just spray and hold it because then it starts running down using the stocking cap i actually saw this on tiktok I'm using the stocking cap because when I use this, like it doesn't leave the lace ashy and it holds it down so well. It's so much better than like any of my like melting bands because my melting bands always, I don't know, they just always leave gunk. It's like when gel over dries. I'm just using this um, free spray just to like style my hair, but I mean, you guys don't have to do that. It's all up to you. I just like a flat surface. I don't like flyaways. So I love for it to be flat. Like you guys can see, my hair is definitely wavy instead of curly. But like I said before, the longer you leave this in, the better it will look. I have a photo on Instagram where I did sock heatless curls and they literally look like I used a wand curler. And I don't know the first thing about using a wand curler. But I still really like the outcome of this. So we're going to cut the lace now. I'm taking my mirror because I want to cut this stocking off of the lace in order to access the lace. You see how the lace isn't really ashy, like it's just, it's just laid. And so that is right now straight from the stocking, straight from under the stocking. And now I'm going to cut it into small sections, but before I do that, I'm going to cut off this earpiece because that always bothers me the most if that piece is there i feel like i can't do a thing so i'm going to cut off that earpiece I don't know what I was filming, but obviously not the tutorial. This foundation that I used earlier and I'm still using is the Huda Beauty 
and it is in chocolate chips. I'm in control of the block. Yeah, yeah. You know how to get hot. Let no. me make this kids go pop. Dang. The crib is over the top. The whip is over the top. I take my makeup foundation, put it on my lace, and then I spray the spritz spray and I cut it while it's still wet. Because while it's still wet, it's easier to cut because when it tacks down, it'll tack down to your skin. Rather than if you let it dry and then you cut it, it'll be like jagged. Like it'll be pretty sharply jagged. The lace will look like it's lifting, even if it's not. And then you want to use the end of a rat tail comb to just like press that into your skin and it's going to give you this look. So watch again. We're going to put the foundation slash concealer first. We're going to use the spray spray and while it's still wet, we're going to cut along the hairline. This is the spritz spray by the way, it's the Fantasia Blue Bottle Spritz Mousse. Spritz Liquid Mousse. You see how much I put on there? It doesn't matter. As long as we wipe it off at the end, it doesn't matter. And this is no bald cap method. My hair is literally in like some type of bun under here. And so I'm just going to be putting some final little touches, cleaning up the lace area, and putting some concealer in the color Fawn by LA Pro Girl Concealer on my part. And this is the final product. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next upload.